out in the streets, you can't really tell who was born here. We go to the same school, play the same sports, and even eat together. How do you know who was born here? Should an immigration status matter? There once was this little girl who came to the United States at age six. She came with her brother, her younger brother, and her mom. When she came the first time, it was during the day. She had to cross with 20 other strangers she didn't know. Having to drink from the same bottle is something you never would expect to do. She came with the help of the coyotes. No, coyotes aren't animals. They're a group of people who 99% of the time you can't trust. She came with them and other people. By the time they crossed the Rio Bravo, the ICE immigration was waiting for them. On her second attempt, it was during the night. She was sick with asthma and kept coughing. One of the coyotes threatened to throw her back in the river if she wouldn't stop coughing. That little girl is me. I came 10, 10 years later, I'm right here, asking for a change. People don't know your story, so they shouldn't judge you. The other day, I was on Facebook. I was looking at videos where immigrants work in the field. They were picking up lettuce. There were a bunch of comments where they call us criminals. We're not criminals. We come here looking for a better future for ourselves. We don't steal, we don't kill no one. Why should we be called criminals? Why should we be called aliens? We come from different parts of the world, but not a different planet. There was this also another comment where they were talking about Sebastián de la Cruz. He sang the American National Anthem at, a, at an event. They said he crossed the, he jumped the river in order to sing it, calling him wetback. Yeah, it bothers me because we have feelings. I'm a wetback too, so what? They call me beaners, I like beans, so what? When, when I go home, I realize that my dad works so hard for me to have a better future. He works four jobs a day, and he works so we could have something that he never had. When when I see my dad, I see, even though at times I don't appreciate it, I know that all he does is for a better, for I could do something better for myself, something he didn't have, something that my brothers didn't have. Just like my dad, I know other people who work without a social security number. I want an immigration reform because those children that are getting separate from their family don't deserve to live without a father or without a mom. All the effort that their parents have done for them is something that people wouldn't understand unless they go through the same situation. When people ask me what could we do in order to change this, I say we have to change the way we think. There's this quote by George Bernal Shawn. He says, success is impossible to change. No, success, success cannot be changed without. Success is, success is, success cannot be changed without, well, basically the quote is saying that if you don't change the way you think of people, you can't really change anything. And I say it's true because if we want a change, we need to start by changing the way we think of other people. Instead of calling them beaners, wetback, we should reach out to them. We never know what they've been, they go through. I know for a fact that my dad is not something I wish for anybody. If he doesn't have a job, if he gets fired, he goes through the alley picking up junk. Or he goes anywhere to see if he, he stands outside Home Depot to get a job. And having, for him, having a social security number, it's something that Maybe right now he doesn't want it anymore, but I know I do. I want to be able to go to a good college, get scholarships. I want to be able to do something for my family. 
I want to thank my brother for being here. I love you. I want to thank um, Alfie and John Cena because I know they, even though my parents couldn't come, they came to support me. They knew I needed their support. Thank you. Yeah.